on Atari. And this first minute, this is before the first time the AI has ever seen this data stream. So don't forget, it doesn't know what it's playing, it doesn't know what it's controlling. And you can see it's actually losing its three lives. It's controlling the rocket here at the bottom of the screen. And it's losing its three lives immediately because it doesn't know what it's doing. But after you leave it playing overnight on a single GPU machine, you come back the next day, and now it's superhuman at the game. It's learnt for itself through experience how to play. So you can see now every single shot it fires hits something. Um, it can't be killed anymore. It's worked out that the pink mothership that comes across the top of the screen in a second is worth the most number of points. Um, it does these amazingly accurate shots to do that. And you can, if those of you remember Space Invaders, as there's less of them on the screen, they go faster. And just watch the last shot um, that it does, the, the rocket does. This is predictive shot for to hit the last Space Invader. So you can see how um, perfectly it sort of modeled the, uh, the, the, the game world and that data stream. Um, so accurately, it can predict ahead of time what is going to happen, just from the pixels on the screen. So this is the second video. It's my favorite video, actually. So this is a game of Breakout, and there's more gradations here of the agent getting better, the system getting better. So this is after 100 games. So just 100 games. And you can see, again here, the system is pretty terrible, but it, you can probably convince yourself that maybe it's starting to get the hang of the fact that it should move the bat towards the ball. Um, now this is after 300 games, so it's now um, hitting the ball back uh, pretty consistently, and it's almost never missing, so it's about as good as the best humans can be at this game. Um, and then we thought, that's pretty cool, but what would happen if we just left the, the, the machine playing the game for a couple more hundred games? And this amazing thing happened. What happened was it discovered the optimal strategy was to dig a tunnel around the left-hand side here and then send the ball, you know, with this unbelievable accuracy around the back. So, so that's really cool because 